Imagine cruising down the highway, feeling unstoppable, when suddenly, a warning light blinks on. It's the brake pad sensor, the quiet guardian of your braking system, alerting you to a problem before it's too late. But what does this little sensor really do, and why is it so essential? Let's dive right into how brake pad sensors work. Brake pad sensors are like the unsung heroes of safety, always watching, ready to notify you when your brake pads are wearing out. But how do they do it? It all starts with a thin wire embedded in the brake pad itself. As the pad wears down, this wire moves closer to the brake rotor. Eventually, when the pad's worn out, the wire contacts the rotor, completing a circuit and triggering that ominous dashboard warning light. In more advanced systems, the sensor doesn't just alert you when the pads are gone, it can measure various levels of wear, keeping you ahead of any potential braking issues. Next, some sensors are even smart enough to distinguish between normal wear and unusual brake conditions. And this is where it gets interesting. The smarter the sensor, the more information it can send to the car's onboard computer, giving you an accurate picture of your brake health in real time. Pretty slick, right? Now, what happens when this little genius malfunctions? You may notice that the brake pad warning light stays on, even if you've just replaced your pads. Or it might not come on at all, leaving you clueless until the brakes start squealing or grinding. Sometimes, a bad sensor may even cause erratic braking behavior, so it's not something to ignore. Replacing these sensors is surprisingly straightforward, but they're not exactly plug and play. First, the old sensor has to be removed carefully from the brake pad. Then, the new sensor must be clipped in place, with the wire connected to your car's braking system. Some DIYers love tackling this as a weekend project, but a little patience, and a willingness to get your hands dirty, is key. After installing a new sensor, the warning light might still be on. To fix this, many cars require a reset, either by disconnecting the battery briefly or using an OBD2 scanner to reset the brake system. This tells your car's brain that everything's back to normal and that the new sensor's doing its job. Now here's a fun fact, not all cars have brake pad sensors. While it's standard on many luxury and modern vehicles, some models skip this feature entirely, relying on good old-fashioned brake pad checks. But with more car manufacturers pushing for advanced safety features, we're seeing brake pad sensors pop up in more vehicles every year. And there you have it, a quick dive into the world of brake pad sensors. Just a tiny device, but it plays a massive role in keeping you safe on the road.